get to the math in a moment. But first, I got a shout out. Yeah, as part of the summer shirt swap. Mount Sack, I used to work there. Anyways, let's get back here. Um, I want to find the slope, but I want to find the slope between two points. What am I talking about? Between two points. I'm talking about an X1 and a Y1. That'll be fun. And also an X2 and a Y2. Oh, why do you use those subscripts? Hmm. Yeah, the reason I'm using those subscripts is just because this is my first point and that's my second point. It doesn't have to be so complicated. <sighs> so. What if I had a couple of points? Last time we went through and we do, we were talking about it's the rise over the run and we said it rose to and it ran for. Catch that. I know, but let's explore another way. What if we had had those two points which we had had? Yes, and we were looking for the change in Y and the change of X. Well, now, here it goes. If I'm here, bam, this is me, ha ha. Woo. Spike, spike, spike. I'm kind of happy. All right, anyways, and you're here, this is you. Oh, wow, you look just like a you. So then, wow, it's like um, five far here. And then, um, that's you, that's me. What should we put out there? Can you even see that? Oh, new camera positions. Um, me, you, them, Let's put a T for them, and from here to there, that's five. Looks like this is 11, all from there. So I'm five far from you, and I'm five far, and I'm 11 far from them. How do we find out how far you are from them? Oh, well, we could take a turn, but no. What do we do? We take the 11, we subtract off the five, and the difference is gonna be six. What am I talking about? I'm doing 11. You can't see down there, damn. 11 minus five is six. Because they take the big one, subtract off the small one, and that gives me the leftovers. And that's what we're going to do right here when we're looking for the change in y and the change in x. We're going to take the two y values and we're going to subtract them. Here, this y value be 4. That y value be 2. So what do we do? We go through and we say 4 minus 2, just like me, you, and them did down there. Uh-huh, so the 4 minus 2, give me my 2. And that's how we got that 2 there. Similarly, we could take the 5 minus the 1. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the big one minus the small one. The 5 minus the 1, and that gave us our 4. Because it's 5 far here, it's 1 far there. The difference is 4 far. So far, what we have is we're going to take the difference between the y values. In particularly, y2 minus y1. And I know at this point you're like, does it matter the order? No, uh, as long as you keep them straight and you keep your twos before your ones and your twos before your ones. So then down here, what is he talking about? I'm saying keep your twos, yeah, this point first, then that point, or that point, and then this point. I'm just pointing out that the order matters, the labeling doesn't. Shall we? If we were working with that point, which point? I'm talking about wait for it, wait for it. One, two, and five, four. Sure. Um, um, um. Until you're a professional, I strongly encourage you label them. This will be your X2, this will be your Y2, this will be your X1, this will be your Y1. So then, Y2, where's that? That's here. What's that? That's four. Sure. And then, minus Y1. Where's that? That's there. What's it? It's two. Ooh. Dee 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 do. Um, X2, five. Menos X1, uno. Finish him. Yeah, finish him. So then two or four minus two is two. And then what do we do? Five minus one is four. Sure. I deduce that I can reduce by a deuce. And then we do do that. And then that turned out to be a one half. Is that the same? <gasps> yeah. Uno caja, y un flor.